killed healthcare plans They instituted travel bans And then the plague abandoned everyone I'm trying to believe in something God is gone and I don't think she's coming I'm trying to believe in something God is gone and I don't think she's coming back. Came in waves and we were awakened. Oh, some of us are still attempting to sleep. Hi friends. Today I want to show you my studio. My husband and I live in a beautiful old house in the German village neighborhood in Columbus, Ohio. My studio used to be our guest room. Before I give you a tour, I want to share the story of how I decided to make it this room my studio. Earlier I was working in the area of our kitchen. I was using the bar table in the corner. I really liked working there because the natural light was great. I was always close to my coffee, which I love, and when the weather was nice, I could hang out in the garden and come back to work. That was not taking so much time. But it also had some problems. I was having some back pain because of the height of my workspace. And I also had to pack everything up when we had guests over. My husband and I were always careful about the artworks, but I was worried that a guest might accidentally spill something. It was hard to stay productive when I was always pegging and setting up again and again. So when the pandemic hit, Andrew and I decided to transform our guest room into a studio for me. That was the brilliant idea. So I use my studio every day now, but the guest room only got used for a few days every couple of months. When we have guests now, they use an air mattress in here or in Andrew's study. We painted the room, I got some IKEA furniture, and I organized all of my supplies and artworks. It's not a big room, but it's, it's a cozy room, and the natural light in this room is amazing. This space is actually right above my old workspace in the side of the kitchen. And it's kind of messy right now, so I'm going to start by cleaning it before I give you a tour and then we will talk about how I organize it. So let's just clean it right now. I'm hoping you say something, I keep on just feeling this. Nothing wanna make you mine Something these drugs don't really solve Nothing I'm hoping you say something I keep on just feeling this Nothing wanna make you mine Something these drugs don't really solve Nothing Spoil the storm like rope You know we die in the end I gotta go hit the road Put on for I go to rest you know my life be a movie Director not watching them screw me Mama still hate the direction Get it, I get it, I get it But I gotta go now Think it's about that time I get my own house Can't be staying this till we get no now Can't be living this fast I gotta slow down I'm hoping you say something I keep on just feeling this Nothing wanna make you mine Something these drugs don't really stop Nothing I'm hoping you say something I keep on just feeling this Nothing wanna make you mine Something these drugs don't really stop Nothing
Well, welcome to my fresh and clean studio. Let's turn on the lights and let's show you around. This is how does it look when you enter the room. This is me. Hi. And this is the cabinet that I bought from Ikea. It keeps a lot of stuff in it. And this, this is the binder that I keep my oil, oil sketch and some of my uh, sketches or artworks or how did I start and how did I end all the details of the artworks this is a little box I keep my paper clips utility knives and extra knives and that and that shelf has a lot of uh, acrylics that's cheap ones and this is the another one I think these are the artworks that I did last year I have to put some tags on that Binders to know what is in it, and I always keep forgetting that. So, this is the sketchbook shelf. These are my small sketchbooks. I keep on the left because I don't use that two blue binder a lot. There are some stuff in it, but I don't think it's important actually. And my the black one is my podcast or whatever you want to record the microphone which I am recording right now. This is a little planner for table. These are my canvases that I didn't even open that yet. I got these for my, you know, sometimes with my friends in the summertime, I like doing some acrylics in the garden. And these are the acrylics that I use for those style things or I use for my sketching or easier things that I don't think if I'm using so much. I don't mind that because it's not expensive. So these are the primer, glue, sprays. Oh, these are cool. So I got these in, when I was in Turkey. These are my business cards. But what I did is I put my artwork, artwork details on the back side and every time I give different ones to my clients or people that they want through my works and it's so cool because some of my friends are hanging these onto their fridge and it, they say that looks so cool on their fridge and some people are asking what is this and actually that's so sweet for me because you know it's always nice when people are liking my videos or my uh, artworks it always makes me happier than of course normal and that's oh that's one I got from an antique store and then I sprayed on it and I didn't even use it yet these are my lovely plates that I already talked about that and if you want to see that I will leave link to da link down below so you can check that video out um this is a big jar that I keep my paint cups in it these are the new ones and oh this is really cool i want to share it this is a finerworks.com or something like that and these guys are having really good quality art prints and these are some examples i ordered it's so cool because it tells the name it tells the weight it tells the all the details of the uh, paper and shows you how the, the artwork look on it i love it but I couldn't order it to be honest because I thought that's expensive um, for me, for me, but now for everybody. So that's why I will leave the website down. You might go and check it out. And I'm hoping to order one day. And these are my oil pastels. I love oil pastel because I like that vibrant colors on it. But I say, I should say that I couldn't. I do like that one in the summer in the garden if I ever need to get like relaxed and out of rules for my art it feels so good it's so nice and as i mentioned these are the colors and on the right side i keep my sprays primers glues and yeah let's put this one back these are my sketchbooks for like liner print acrylic or watercolor different bunch of paper style these are my books. I sh books. I wish I would have more than these, but I don't have. But I'm still looking. If there is any sale in the bookstore, I try to get one. So these are my incense that I burn. 
like quite a lot. Uh, I was burning them in the kitchen and then it was already grabbing all house. It was smelling everywhere. But the problem is my husband has a really sensitive nose. That's why I cannot burn it when he is home because it disturbs him. And and after a while I just decided to put it in my studio and because I was keep forgetting it, but now I don't forget it and I keep them almost like every couple of days. And I just do like, I don't, I cannot smell every smell as well. Some of them are really heavy for me, uh, but I do like rose. I do like, and also it's called Budhi. I think Budhi, B-U-D-H-I. I bought them, I buy all my incense from World Market and I will leave them linked down below as well. So this is the cabinet that these two cabinets are twin I got it from Ikea and this uh, plastic box are also Ikea as well so I keep them everything in the was I do like that looks like everything has their own box uh, I, I got these soft colors of them so these are the plastic bags that I got from Blake and these are my journals that I got from Hennepin Museum in California that I love them a lot so um, you know how I love hen fans and I keep them because it's always inspire me. These are the plastic bags as I said, I keep them because always I paint something it shouldn't splash on my own floor and I keep them clean with this way. And the other one was the clear bags that I use them when I was putting in things on my vendors. And these are the transparent papers in front of the boxes, the yellow and green boxes. These are my framing stuff I keep in this. In that black box I have extra watercolors and extra acrylics. Most of them are metallic ones I think. And I got these watercolors but I didn't like them a lot because um, I don't know, It's it feels like a little low quality um, for me, so I, as I say, if I'm, if any of my, if any friends of mine are coming and doing like, you know, artwork in the garden, we kind of like keep them using. So I got this one from Amsterdam. Let's move this lovely plant and then this is really full so i'm not gonna try to take it out as you can see i cannot even take this little thing out so this is my ruler it helps me to do circles big circles and these black box and the white box in the bottom has some art sketches in it the california box has some uh heat gun or other things like some uh, small electronic things from my studio sandpaper some extra gouache and inks clothes and some like folder I think yeah I, I think so and some small notebooks in there as well so these twin cabinets I always wanted to paint it but I didn't decide it yet so there is a little a portfolio it's not a little it's like I think it's not 11 by 14 maybe? 11 by 14 I think my portfolio I keep my digital illustrations in it there's a tray that I was working on it when it was summer and beautiful sun was outside. These are folly bags, I keep them for prints. And that green box has my hand fin laser uh, shapes, like pieces, I didn't open it. We can check it out maybe later. So this is an art print that was right behind me when I was showing, sitting on my chair, but at some point I, at some point, I don't know what did I do and I hit it. And it fell down and it's broken now. It, I tried to fix it, but it didn't. Uh, so now that's why I'm gonna put it just into trash. I'm not gonna deal with that. So this is the artwork I put on my easel. Easel. I will keep the two things because it might help me, but this frame won't help actually. I wish I will figure out something else. Uh, this is a little plant. I love plants. I keep the plants everywhere. These are my large scale stuff. Some of them are prints, papers, or backgrounds for photograph, ruler, cutting board, and a bunch of similar things. 
these are the little posters I think I got. Some of them are from museum, some of them are my own, you know, stuff or sketch. And there are, there is one oil paint on the right side, oil sketch of mine. So the broken frame was under that. It's mostly my artwork, so I want to kind of get some other artists' uh, prints. Uh, I don't have a really big uh, budget, but I would like to get some. And if you recommend anything, please leave link. Uh, sorry, comment so I can go and check their website out. And I hope if it is not super expensive, I can get some a couple of prints from them. And also, we can you know share their name and get this community bigger and bigger all the time. I would love to support as an artist the other artists. So this is my face and it's a boy but I gave him a girl name which is Gilly. <laughs> so she's so cute. I cannot even say like he because it's she for me. Anyway, it was a very snowy day. It's so nice when you are home, which is I am. It feels cozy and cozy. I do like that feeling. And it, I do like working at that moment, actually. This is a storage that I use. It has wheels and it's easy to move around. These are my pencil, pens, and tissue papers, napkins, scissors. The second shelf has like inks in it. There are a bunch of different brands. I cannot say there is like a certain brands that I really like actually, but I do like all and they all are good quality. And there are different names. I try to show you the names of them. I think four or five different ones. This green box has some other acrylics. Most of them are on my table right now, but these are the extra ones that I don't use for this artwork that I'm currently working on it. These are the mediums. And, and I think this is high gloss that I talked about that a lot on my previous vlogs. And this is kind of like box that I keep everything in it, basically gouache, ink, liquid gold leaf, which is this one, and also palette, watercolor, or extra gold leaf. I keep in that jar. This one has similar things as well, which is color cups, ruler, papers, sticks for resin, resin. Yeah, these are the tables and lamps. Lamps are and uh, tables are from Ikea on the chair somewhere else. I don't even know where is it from. And some other acrylics on the tables, brushes, and palettes. This is the store, I just went there and I got some stuff I wanna show you on my next vlog. I didn't even open it. This is a basket, I keep all of my electronical things, tripods, cables, you know, all a bunch of things. I don't know where to put. It looks better on this carpet and easy to reach. This is my plan stand that I have. A really big plan. I do like it. It's taller than me. It called Majesty Palm, I think. And it's very, very big, but I do like what vibe a vibe gives to my studio. It's kind of like tropical. I do like them. These are the houses, small. I bought them from Target. I kind of want to spray them at some point, but I didn't decide it yet. And that looks cute. So yeah, this is my studio guys. I hope you really enjoy watching that and I hope you got some ideas from me what to, to organize. It was so nice to share all my studio with you. If you want to see similar videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the thumbs button and leave a link down below and I can know you. I would love to be friends with you guys. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.